any woman that is in the uniform and she wants to succeed, the husband is the male. Check out, not just military, okay. even in other paramilitaries. Mm -hmm. A woman that understands that this job I have joined is me. Drop the uniform by the door okay. and come in as a wife okay. and you get the best. Mm -hmm. Where you see problem is because you want to ego yourself with the man, you can't get it right. But when you drop this uniform and bring in this family thing, you get the best out of your marriage. And the civilians that have married us enjoyed us more than any other thing. <laughs> <laughs> what about the children? The children, too, understand that that is the job you have chosen. From the beginning, you start grooming your children yeah. that I'm in a force that today I may not be here and daddy is there. Mm -hmm. When you give a child the basic thing, that I may not be at that point always. The father to know that, well. and the child grows with it. That is why uh, uh, I tell people that a soldier's son is always a soldier's son. His daughter belonging to a military person is always a military daughter because the love. Mm, that's a hard pill to swallow, would if you ask me. <laughs> why, why would you feel if your mother tells you, today you see me, tomorrow you may not see me? Well, I feel like for the child, uh, however we put it, it's always going to be difficult. So always Definitely. think, uh, mommy might not come back today. Yes. Or, you know, and then you as the mom as well, you, you have to always have it in the back of your mind that you will miss certain stages of your children growing up. And no mother would be glad about that. I agree with you. So yes, but I feel like um, you said it, a soldier's son is a soldier. A soldier's daughter is a, is a soldier. So I, I believe they're born with the strength somehow. Because it's it's a very difficult thing to grow up like that, but like you said, they are strong and 